I wanted to show you my cows. Right here in the center is Ferdinand. He's our daddy bull. He's a pretty nice guy. Come here, Ferdinand. Come see me. Come on. Over there's Beatrice. And there's Beatrice's daughter. And my friend Mary owns this farm. Let's us use it to help take care of it. And she named Beatrice's little girl Peggy. Which I think is a pretty good name. You, I don't know your name, but you look like you're fixing to have a calf too. I've got friendly cows. They're pretty tame. One thing you can do to really help keep your cows coming to you. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, Beatrice. I don't have any with me today, but they like salt. And if you can put some salt, um, I buy it in these big 25 pound bags at the feed store. I'll throw it on their backs and they'll lick it off each other, but they love it almost better than sweet feed. And it keeps them really tame and keeps them coming to you. They'll make them gentle to, to catch and work with. Up there on the hill was a little bull. We never did castrate him, uh, but he'll probably make somebody a good beef. Maybe me, depending on how much I eat this summer. There's another one of our cows. She's bred. This cow here, and that cow there should be having a calf in the next month or so. Miss Beatrice just had hers. Up there's a little bull calf from last year, a little white one. I think his name is Eli. I can't remember what his name is. Samuel named him. Come here, Ferdinand. Let's see if he'll come and talk to us. Come on, boy. Come on. What do you say? Pretty, pretty, pretty stoic today. Okay. Yes, another look at Ferdinand from the side. What about you? <laughs> All right. Wish I had some sweet feed for you or some salt. loud uh, there's Peggy getting her bite to eat I don't know if we can see that or not pretty cool pretty cool all right see you guys tomorrow and I'll give you another shot of the farmhouse here where my great-grandfather lived his name was Philip Glenn. And this house would have been built probably around 1910, 1920 in that area. He, uh, he had another house that he'd built here before this, but that burnt down, that's what my dad said. And my grandfather was born here on this little farm somewhere. I'm not sure where the old house stood, the one before that one, but. He was born in 1893 here on this little piece of land. And uh, that was back before the town of Little Switzerland was ever thought of. And this area was called Fenoy. I'm not sure where the name came from or what it means even, but uh, that's what this area was called. And then sometime in the Around 1916, I think, 19, I may have my dates wrong exactly, but sometime in the early 20s, the folks from down around Charlotte and Raleigh started coming up here and buying up land and made the little Switzerland development, and that's how it got its name for the town up there. But we're on the outskirts of little Switzerland right now, but it's a pretty area, very pretty.